For me, integration means bringing together parts, processes or people in a coordinated way to generate a greater and more impactful whole. I think integration has two main points. The first is that you have to include all the relevant disciplines for whatever project you're working on. Um, for IEAs, that's all kinds of, from natural through biological through physical scientists. So I'm head of the advisory department. I need to integrate the science department. I need to integrate, integrate data. I need to integrate our clients. And I also need to integrate all the staff. It has to be not just Everybody's doing their own thing, but you're all working together, something that I would call transdisciplinary. So integration uh, it has lots of different meanings when we talk about data. There's been a lot of talk for quite a few years about integrating different data types over different spatial aggregations. In my work, uh, in communications, um, I feel that that's basically what we do. We integrate the information that comes out of this organization from the different parts, or oh, that's at least what we aim for, is uh, we, uh, we aim for integrating that information and then putting it out there for, uh, for others to see. I think of it as a catalyst, it's a catalyst for a process about building more participatory processes to explore our knowledge and use that knowledge where relevant to help uh, advise people about uh, what they want to know in terms of uh, management needs in, in the marine environment. So making sure that it's timely for the clients, it's based on the best possible science with the most quality short data, and something that we feel actually is aligned with this integrated approach to visual management. We often talk about different spatial resolutions that we want to integrate together, uh, and we also talk about different methodologies, so the different uh, ways of integrating things over different methods. Especially with a lot of the large oceanographic data sets and some of the fishery stuff, we spend a lot of time discussing how we can integrate disparate data and information together. How do we do that? Um, how do we do that? And generally there's a lot of uh, big issues with it. I don't think we have all the solutions. The second major issue is even if you are all there and talking to each other and understanding each other, you need to have integrated models, even if it's just a conceptual model, something that shows how everything connects together. Integration is very context specific, but I would say that integration is the use of different methods and knowledge to have a more, to get a more holistic view of a system, of the status of a system, or of the outcome of uh, uh, specific scenarios of a system. Ideally, you could get a mathematical model that's more difficult. Um, especially because to do that you would have to start really from the beginning because otherwise if you take a biological model and try to add um, social and economic pieces to it, you have all the wrong scales. Mm -hmm. And integration can be just on an, on an ecosystem, let's say environmental ecosystem level, but it can also include uh, social and uh, economic institutional aspects. So for me it's a, an effort to know what's going on in the most of ISIS departments and try to integrate that into the best possible product, advice product. Integration also means that uh, we learn to look at priorities because we can't integrate everything. We need to really only focus on uh, what uh, we think is important and what society thinks is important. Um, and now we're starting to talk about something called things like semantic ontologies to deal with integration. So you can jump from one definition of something to another seamlessly and figure out how they work together. It's quite a thing to do. It requires a lot of talking and that's cool. I like talking. <laughs> um, it also requires um, people to be open and to share. You can't integrate between closed silos. You need to open them up and, and try to bridge across them instead of doing your own thing. It's not always easy because it feels like uh, people think very much, they kind of think uh, everything from their own point of view and we do kind of have these certain pillars and certain sections in the organization, um, uh, people coming to us from there. And we all have 
have a tendency to think that our little area is the most important thing, but I think the integration between all these little, very important areas is the difficult part. But I think we're getting there. But we try to basically uh, find out uh, what the message is, and then hopefully we can uh, we can combine it from the different angles, and then and then combine it into a story or whatever the product is that we're doing. For SciComm, our main focus is on achieving seamless integration between science, data and advice. Great, thank you. Oh, that was difficult. <laughs>